Lord Paloma, you darling little minx. <laughs> no one told me it was dress down Friday tonight. <laughs> Look at you, sweetheart. It's adorable to see you. You look amazing. You look exactly like I did at your age. <laughs> Which gives you a rough idea what you're going to look like in a year or two. <laughs> Hello, possums. Yes, it is me, Dame Edna. And uh, I'm wearing a frock which is inspired... Have you guessed by a very famous, iconic building in Australia? The <laughs> Sydney Opera House. And I, I dare not sit down in this frock or I'll squash about a thousand Japanese tourists. <laughs> this dress was designed by my son, Kenny. He's a brilliant, brilliant boy. He's a dress designer and he's also a homeopath. And well, I think that's the word he said. <laughs> I had a couple of valiums when he told me that. <laughs> I love that King's Speech. Did you hear about that? Has there been any publicity about that film? <laughs> the Queen wanted me to really do a bit of a Geoffrey Rush on the Middleton family, give them a little bit of a polish up. <laughs> she was worried they might try to sell the footage to my big, fat, gypsy wedding. <laughs> Got news about William and Kate, and they're going to have a second wedding in Australia. Did you know that? That is an exclusive for Comedy Rocks. And tonight, two of you lucky possums are going to be married! Yay! A lot of people, they think I choose people out of my audience at random, but I'm not. I'm gathering your DNA as I speak. I know... <laughs> More about you than any other show knows about you. <laughs> Let's have a look at the printout, Paloma, from my computer already. I need... Thank you, darling. Thank you. Don't overact, Paloma, don't. <laughs> <laughs> you have to watch this little one. <laughs> you realise that there are two people in this very studio audience who are 100% compatible. <laughs> you. That woman on the end, you. And you, with your arms crossed. You, come here. Please, come up here. Let's hear it for these people. Hello. Hello. Oh, darling. <laughs> Don't you feel the compatibility oozing <laughs> What is, what is your name? Christy. Christy. You obviously didn't expect to come on stage tonight. <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> I'm trying, my dear, dear woman, I'm trying to think of a word to describe what you're wearing. <laughs> the word is affordable. That's what it is. What is your name? My name's Luke. Luke. Hello, yeah. Luke. Hi there. <laughs> Luke. That's not short for anything, is it? No. I'm Luke is <laughs> aid, perhaps. <laughs> Luke. Hello, darling, Luke. Thank you very much, darling. There we are. Thank you. Now, I wish you both a very, very happy relationship. <laughs> now, I'm going to ask you some questions. I want you to answer them as quickly as you can. I don't want you to censor yourself in any way. Thank you very much, Paloma. Thank you for remaining in the background, too. Now, where are we? <laughs> Have you had problems with intimacy, Christy? No. no. <laughs> are you monogamous or promiscuous? <laughs> monogamous. <laughs> you could have fooled me, darling. You could have... <laughs> when were you last intimate with someone? Some person or something? <laughs> Yeah, want me to answer it? I'm, uh, well, I'm asking the question. <laughs> what about you, darling? 1972. 1972. <laughs> I happen to be... Wait for this, possums. I happen to be a registered marriage celebrant. <laughs> 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 Are you currently married? Are you married? Nancy. You? Yes. 
Yeah. Where is your husband now? Scotland. In Scotland. He's been there since 1972. <laughs> I, have, I have discovered the Susan Boyle of comedy, but... <laughs> He's I'm been very happily all married. That, you're happily married yeah. at a distance, at a distance. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter because after this little ceremony, it'll be an annulled. <laughs> Completely annulled. Let the ceremony begin! <laughs> it's new age music. Thank you, Paloma. <laughs> That's it. Isn't this exciting? This can be speeded up in the laboratory. <laughs> there we are, darling. Isn't this exciting? Dearly beloved, friends, family, and total strangers, <laughs> may the sacred crystal of Fig reside in your womb, in your womb, <laughs> and your staff blossom abundantly. <laughs> You may kiss the bride. No tongues. No. Lovely. No tongues. We have for you a beautiful holiday and a honeymoon as well. A honeymoon for you too. Forget about that man in Scotland, darling. Because I have booked a honeymoon suite for two hours at that, that beautiful hotel. That beautiful hotel that Lenny Henry advertises. <laughs> <laughs> and if the earth moves, it'll be the traffic on the Hammersmith flyover now. <laughs> well, let's hear it from my happy married couple. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.